Good morning, friends. So I am coming to you today uh, to show you how I dyed my hair with Kool-Aid. Now keep in mind, this is one week after. And this is right before I dyed my hair. This is exactly what my hair looked like. These are my supplies. I took Kool-Aid of the color choices that I thought would look good in hair. Pink lemonade, uh, black cherry for darkness, and some punch. I figured had pink coloring in it and a little bit of grape to get a little bit of a purple color. Now, I had not done this on my full head before. I'm just trying it for the first time. And as my carrier, I chose white conditioner with no color in it. And I just mixed as what I thought should be mixed. So I started by diluting all the Kool-Aid in warm water. So I would have no granules in the actual mixture. So this is what you're seeing right now is I am being my own scientist, my own color chemist, trying to figure out what colors would work best in my hair. I didn't want too dark, I didn't want too red, I really wanted pink, although I was a little afraid of the pink being too salmon colored, which is the color I really wanted to stay away from. So, of course, I kept on mixing and mixing and mixing. I can never leave well enough alone. So I wanted to just keep trying different colors to see what I came up with. Now remember, after this gets all disintegrated, I actually am going to put it in white conditioner. So it will tone the color down a little bit. And of course, I didn't like the color, so I added in some black cherry to see what that would look like. And because I have to keep mixing and never leave things the way they are, I kept adding, so I added grape, just to see what color um, I would come up with in the end. Because I did want to come up with something similar that I had dyed my hair in the past, which was like a mauve, pinkish, purple color. Um, but you will see in the end, that is not necessarily what happened. So just stay tuned. So this is me adding uh, the conditioner. Um, I actually just added what I thought would cover my head. Um, and again, this is a good reminder, it is a white conditioner with no colors, no pearlescence in it. I don't want anything transferring into the color or changing the color that I'm going to be dyeing my hair. After I got the amount of conditioner I wanted, I just added the Kool-Aid mixture to it. And again, people, this is Kool-Aid with no sweetener. It's just the straight packets. You don't want any sugar or anything. Um, you'll get less color if you have other additives in the Kool-Aid. So I just mixed and mixed. It took a little while, um, but eventually I got it to where um, there was no liquid, just a smooth conditioner consistency. So I thought the mixture was a little too orangey, kind of a red color, and I didn't like it. I'm looking for a pink color. So here I go, mixing more colors. Here I put the last of the strawberry, and also I think I put the last of the pink lemonade. And I am hoping to get the pink color that I am hoping for. So I am just using up the last of my lightest colors and trying to stay away from the red and away from the purple and trying to just pull as much pink out of the Kool-Aid that I can possibly pull out. And I am mixing again, mixing, mixing, mixing. Um, it's very important that you disintegrate your Kool-Aid completely before putting it into your conditioner or you're going to have granules in it. 
Um, and that will slowly release the colors as it does disintegrate in the conditioner mix. All right, well, this is me adding it to my hair. Um, it is incredibly light. Um, first note is I was hoping that it would have a little bit more color in it, but that's all right. As you can see, I started off with a nice hair um, color brush and got a little impatient because the mixture is very watery. So I just started putting it on with my hands. Of course, I had gloves. Um, so I just started coating my hair thoroughly with the mixture all the way through, working from my roots all the way to my ends. Um, in the meanwhile, I was actually trying to videotape this myself without any help um, because my children were so quiet and behaving themselves, I just couldn't ask for help. So I did this all on my own. Hopefully it's not too crazy for you and you can get an idea of what I'm doing. All right, well, my hair is completely coated, 100% saturated. From here, I went ahead and left it on for, I believe it was an hour and 45 minutes to see what the results would be. So here is me in my great Walmart bag waiting. Now my results were not so bad. My hair came out extremely light. Now here is my hair one week after and two washes later. Okay, so it's really early in the morning, um, but I just didn't want it in this video um, the way it had ended. I wanted to really give you a feedback of um, my experience dyeing my hair with um, Kool-Aid. And did I like it? Yes, for like the first three days. It was really cool, really pale pink, super pastel. So if that's what you're looking for, then this is definitely affordable and really, really cool. But I have to tell you, your hair has to be super light. As you can tell, I mean, my hair is fairly light. It's not white. So because of the yellow tones in it, it got very salmon color, which was what I was trying to stay away from. But it's really fun to try. It's very inexpensive. So you really don't have anything to lose. Um, it comes out fairly quickly, as you can see, one week later. Um, and that's two washes. So, um... Yeah, hopefully this helps you. Um, if you have any questions, definitely comment below. If you want to see more videos, then thumbs me up and subscribe. So hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Just a real quick FYI. Um, now, these were pink colors. These were red-based colors. So if you do blues and greens, I'm not positive if you will get the exact same um, outcome as far as pigment um, getting into your hair. Um, blues and greens could stain your hair for a whole lot longer than the pinks will. So I just wanted to warn you that if you think you're going to do blues or something, you might have a completely different um, ending um, in the whole process. So um, I just wanted to warn you and let you know that, you know, every hair type is different. So if you have bleached hair and you do pink, it could take like 10 times better than mine did. Um, my pH balance could be off in my hair. That's why it's not absorbing color as easily. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, not everybody gets the same results. People might get better results than I do. Um, but these were my results. And to let you know one more thing that I forgot to add in my video is that my roots that I just recently had bleached and toned did not take the color like the ends of my hair did. So the ends of my hair took the color very well. Um, my roots did not. Um, and the ends of my hair are very damaged and porous. So um, right after I dyed my hair with everything, I did cut my ends because those were the darkest um, and absorbed the color the most. Um, so I'm just letting you know the different things that I did. Also, there's a lot of citric acid in Kool-Aid, so it did make my scalp tingle when I got it on my scalp. 
and itch. So I just thought I'd give you those tips, um, you know, something that may be happening that you didn't expect to happen. So happy dyeing. And you know what? If you do this to your hair, please put it on Instagram and hashtag Mariah's Sassy Fashions. And I would love to see your results. All right. Well, until next time. Bye. Bye.